been keeping Tiffany Simons busy here all week in Indianapolis. You saw her on a zip line and all that. So hey, let's check in with her at a real city landmark. I'm at an Indianapolis institution, St. Elmo's Steakhouse. This is where everyone will be dining for the next few days. In fact, it's completely booked out for Super Bowl week. Now, Damien over here, you've got a quite a story to tell us, don't you? Yeah, it's a pretty fun story about uh, football legends here, uh, Sean Payton and Jerry Jones, and they arrive with a bottle of wine. All right, let's go inside and find out what the story is. Right. This is the bottle that caused this whole entire story. Tell us what happened. So, uh, night of the combine, Friday night, uh, Sean Payton comes in, and I've waited on him for the last six years. Mm -hmm. so this and is back in 2010, right after they had won right. the Super Bowl. So I take him into the large format room here, and uh, select him a few different bottles, and then we, I pointed out this particular bottle to Sean and said, you know, this one is pretty special. We actually got it in just for Jerry Jones. And, well, Sean Payton being a little bit of a uh, sportsman, so Correct. we're drinking this tonight. Okay. Okay, you paid for it. You're going to drink it, sure. And how much does something like this cost? Uh, about $6,500. Not cheap. No. Um, so uh, they drank the bottle of wine. Everybody drank it, all 50 members of the team. And uh, afterwards, Sean Payton signed it, Hudat World Champions 2010. Now, of course, Jerry Jones was coming in to dine the very next night, expecting to be able to get this right. bottle of wine. What happens? So he comes in, and uh, he's got a bottle of wine that's empty with the cork put back, back in it and uh, Sean Payton's signature on it. Um, and Sean Payton actually had every intention of coming in and using my tuxedo and presenting the wine to, to uh, Jerry Jones. Nice to know that wine always brings out a competitive spirit between those two. Damien, thank you so much for sharing with us this story about football royalty, all the good stuff that happens at St. Elmo's Steakhouse. My pleasure. Can I get you a show cocktail? Now you're talking. Let's go. Yeah, to say the St. Elmo's shrimp cocktail is famous. Uh, St. Elmo's really is a lamb. That's, a, that's one of the great untold NFL stories that now has been told. Yeah, and I think as to the shrimp cocktail, they should get rid of all the smelling salts for the game. That's right. Just, just have so the, the cocktail sauce on the sideline. If anybody gets hit and they need to have their nasal passages cleared out, <laughs> just give them a little bit of that horseradish. They grind that horseradish every day there. And St. Elmo's is the place we went there on Sunday night. First person we saw, Bill Belichick, on Monday night. Eli Manning and the entire Giants offensive line walked in. That's pretty much the place to be seen. That kind of describes Indianapolis in a nutshell. The place to be seen is a steakhouse. That's like so Midwest. And, well, why were you hanging out at the Burger King then? I was at St. Elmo's. It's, it's a steakhouse of a different kind. <laughs> we'll be back to wrap things up on NBC Sports Talk right after this. Stick around.